Hi teachers, this quick video is going to give you a couple tips and tricks for using Screencastify um, or another screen recorder. There's a couple things you can do while you're screen recording to just help your videos be a little bit more clear and also give you a chance to think in the middle because often when we're making videos um, we can lose track of what we're trying to say. So um, I actually have two screen recorders running at the moment in order to make this video. Um, I'm going to turn on Screencastify and the first little tip I am going to share with you is under the show more options when you start your Screencastify recording you can change your countdown so if you need that full 10 seconds to really be ready to roll you can change it to that. Um, I like to show the drawing tools you do have the option to record system audio so that means the audio coming from your computer it will record it in a different way as opposed to um, listening what's coming out of your mic and then you also have the webcam preview so i'm going to leave um, these two off for the moment and focus on the drawing tools and a few other things. So we're going to start a recording. I want to record my entire screen at the moment. Okay, so I left on my spotlight. I'm going to get rid of my spotlight option. So down in the bottom left hand corner you'll see a toolbar that lets you draw. You can even change the color. This can help draw attention in your video if you're not confident in your mouse drawing skills and they tend to be a little messy. Um, we can erase in that video. Um, I like to actually move back to the pointer and use the focus mouse. So this is another way to essentially draw a circle for a moment. It doesn't leave that ink on your screen for the whole recording, but it allows you to draw attention to something specific. So what happens though sometimes is we get to recording and then we accidentally X out of this toolbar. Luckily Screencastify has a way to deal with this. Um, this little image here shows. So to hide the toolbar we click the X icon and then if we press Alt I'm going to click the X icon. If we press Alt T, that toolbar comes back. So um, Alt T will bring that toolbar back during a recording. Um, another really cool tip or trick while you're recording. So going back over to my calendar, let's say I needed a moment to pause and think so that I can gather my words and start in on what I want to say next, I can actually come down to the bottom and hit the pause button. So what this does is it, this does not stop your Screencastify recording, it simply pauses it. So it's not recording your screen at the moment. Um, the reason why you're still seeing this video is my other screen recorder is still recording my screen. If I hit the stop button at this point, it will officially end the recording. And so that means that I would need to re-record things or um, look at posting two videos or something like that. So pause, we hit play to resume that Screencastify recording. If you don't have the toolbar down here, you can also come up to the arrow up here in the corner, hit pause here. Just keep in mind, if you use the um, pause button here, this block will show up in your recording until you hit pause. And then when we hit play, you'll have to click back on your screen for that block to disappear. So at this point, I want to stop my recording. And I'm going to show a few other tips and tricks so you can see that my recording is playing here. Um, if you go up to the top, you can title this. In your video, if you're not confident in your mouse 
drawing skills and they tend to be okay <laughs> so I don't I don't want to play that whole video I can actually open this video in my Google Drive and I can choose how this video will be shared. So here on the right, I can make it unlisted, private, public. I typically would suggest making it unlisted to anyone at Gnomestead. That way when you go to post it in Google Classroom, you don't have any issues. If I click view on Drive here, I can see the video viewable on Drive. Just keep in mind sometimes it does take a moment for this to process. Um, before it's ready to be shared. Another little tip and trick is you've got scissors down okay, here. So I left on that allows you to take this and can help. save the trim. Okay, and do keep in mind if you trim your film at the beginning or end so that you can get rid of maybe that beginning when you were getting ready or the end when you were trying to find the end button. Once you do this, you can't get it back. So if I select trim, it will trim my video. Giving it a moment. Okay, so I left on my spotlight. I'm gonna get rid of. So it will take a chunk away from my video. If you have issues trimming it here, sometimes I like to click and open it in the editor. And then the editor, I think it's a little easier to trim. So you basically would select and you hit the um, scissors button and then you can take this whole chunk of the video and simply hit delete. So play around with things. Um, just my suggestion would be making a couple of silly videos that don't really have a point. Um, so you can play around with the editing and um, other tips and tricks features before you try to edit the video that you really want. You can also add a clip. So this is nice with the full editor is if you accidentally make two videos, you can add a clip in there and then save them together as one video. So if you want to learn more about um, Screencastify, there will be training coming up to help teachers with this, or you can always email. There's also wonderful classroom resources and courses straight from Screencastify that will um, teach you all of these same things.